What more can they do? I think uh, I think we just need to keep our eyes on the ball and do what they've been doing, but just intensify it and be strategic more so than emotional. Um, I think it's incredibly important. Not to say that they haven't been. I'm mm -hmm. just simply saying that's something that they need to continue to do. Move with strategy, not All right, let, let, let's get to a couple of things here. First of all, I want to make sure that I point this out because for research last night, this is the information that I had. In the wake of the Breonna Taylor shooting in March, and, of course, later, George Floyd's, uh, uh, George Floyd's killing and ultimately the protest, the Louisville Metro Council actually voted on June 11, 2020, to ban no-knock warrants in Louisville, Kentucky. All 26 council members co-sponsored the ordinance, which was called Brianna's Law. Brianna's Law. So I want to point that out, number one. Number two, we also have, to, from a legal perspective, understanding that this attorney general, who is black, who I pointed out, appeared to be a bit handicapped by the law, no-knock warrants, license to carry, uh, stand your ground laws, being in that state and what have you, He's operating behind the eight ball, some would say. But then again, when you take the front stage that he took during the Republican National Convention, yes. obviously that came along with its critics because people are politicizing this more so than ever before. Number three, Breonna Taylor's family. Certainly no knock on them, but let's understand what transpired here. My understanding is that they reached a civil agreement before the criminal case was decided, before it was fully investigated. And there are people who speculated that by reaching an agreement sit on, a, on a civil portion of the case, prior to an announcement about the criminal charges, that might have, compre that might have compromised things to some degree because it might have disincentivized people to really dig into this and the officers that might that 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 may deserve to be obviously treated like you know one officer anyway that should have been handled significantly differently that may have prevented that from doing being the case so we got to point that out last but not least i want to get to max's point we saw the president of the united states on national television yesterday and this i don't believe this has anything to do with him per se mm -hmm. but what he said yesterday and the timing with which he said it it deserves to be mentioned. He was asked about a peaceful transition. Mm -hmm. He would not commit to a peaceful transition of office in the event that he lost the election. And he brought up what Max alluded to, the mail-in ballots and what have you. Yep. I said this on first take weeks ago. I said it months ago. I'm going to say it now. These are incredibly strained times. If you can get to the polls... Get to the polls. That's fine unless, what if you can't? I understand. If you can't, you can't. And because so what do you do if you can't? You mail in your vote. You, mail you your have vote. to mail in sure. your vote. You have okay. to mail in your vote. And we're on the same page. But what I'm saying to you is that if you can get there, yeah. no matter what, I, I understand, because it's so dicey right now. Mm -hmm. It's so dicey that if you don't, if you rely on a mail-in vote, clearly he has let you know what his strategy is yep. in terms of protesting and refute whatever results yeah. come in, unless they're in his favor. And, and I was glued to the news yesterday. I, I saw the decision in real time and also watched the president as well. Damien, I want to get to you, though, and I just kind of want to reset the table here. Again, being a former athlete, what more can the sports world do? And, and I know they're doing plenty. Yeah. <clears throat> um, first of all, let, let me say just I want to piggyback on, some, on sure. the, the material that Stephen A. brought up. Um, the Kentucky governor, Andy Bashir. He is requesting that Daniel Cameron release the evidence mm -hmm. yes. that Trans he put the transcripts yep. and all that stuff Make it all from, the, from, from the grand jury. Just complete transparency and also the racial composition of the grand jury because I think that's important. If we're going to talk yeah. about your peers, mm -hmm. the makeup of your peers, we need to know what the composition of the grand jury is. Moving forward, as far as the topic at hand, I, I think that especially the NBA, but a lot of these other sports leagues, they've done a tremendous job of bringing attention, almost forcing it on people. Like, damn it, you're going, you're going to hear what we have to say about this particular topic. Because I know there was a, you know, when the NBA was trying to decide, you know, with the, with the whole bubble and how are they going to go about the, the social initiatives and everything like that, 
the one thing about this whole situation is in interviews, the games that they play, they've always come back on message. Keeping everything about the social initiatives. Mm -hmm. Because that's what's important. Yes, playing the games and win, and obviously, they, you know, being in the bubble, they're trying to win a championship. But they're not going to let anyone off the hook as far as what we're going to do with our platform. Damn it, we're going to let you guys know this is important, not only for us as individuals, but for our community collectively. And I think that has to continue. I don't know if there's any other things that the, play, that the players in these leagues can do besides the fact keep reinforcing to everyone out there, exercise your constitutional right to vote because that's the only way things are going to change. Yes, protesting matters, but it only takes you so far. In order for real change to happen, you got to change laws. You brought up no-knock warrants. You license brought up to carry. License to carry. Stand your ground. Correct. You know how those things get vote. changed? You vote. You have to vote. The, you have to vote the people you want. How about want body in, cameras? All, Molly, all sorts of issues. Yeah. But these things cannot change unless you participate in the political process and get the type of people you want into office. Because I've said to many people before who, who say to me all the time, man, my vote doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, guess what? When you abstain from voting, the next person steps right in into your, into your void. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.